I love those days where the weather makes it so easy for you, you know, with the beautiful light and the sun coming through. Well, this isn't one of those days. <laughs> this is like, this is the kind of day where you have to look for your shot. It's not gonna be offered on a plate. I've got to look for these shots. I love this light now. You've got some muted sun coming across, hidden by the clouds, but nice soft box in the sky, diffusing it for us. Really dark clouds over there with a rainstorm. It's brilliant. And once again, I'm surrounded by the sea. Tide's coming in now, so coast along here, all the way around. And then nature reserve is now filling up as well. So I love being surrounded by the sea. For those of you who watched my video last week on shooting in manual, today I've got everything locked in. So I'm locked on an ISO of 400. I've got my shutter speed on 250th and I'm around about F8. And I'm also manually focusing, but I've got it set to, for most shots, it's kind of locked in with the focus peaking. So I'm set to around about, what's this here? F8 gives me kind of just before infinity mainly for most shots and that's meaning that pretty much everything that I'm shooting is in focus and so I can just walk and enjoy it and I can tweak the focus but most of my manual settings will stay because the light is not very you know well it's very consistent so it's not changing very much and that means that you can pretty much lock in your settings and just walk and, and photograph. If you spend some time immersing yourself in the landscape that you're shooting you begin to see things that you just didn't notice before uh, i can see there's there's pockets of light even though it's very flat there are pockets of light where the clouds are moving quite quickly and i'm beginning to sort of see little shots and see the light really just kind of this kind of shot is more about looking for light and color because in this very flat light these yellows and greens and you know browns and things they're actually quite beautiful and they create a lovely texture on your image but also the light traveling that way and the light just over there I guess the sun must be over there somewhere and it's just coming across this scene here and it's quite beautiful um, if you watch my last photo trails last Monday then um, you will remember that I was talking about how light that comes across the scene is actually some of the most beautiful light and that's the case here, the light that's, you know, these clouds are acting as massive soft boxes and they're just sending this light across this scene. And there's much more going on than you kind of first see.
I just want to say a huge thank you to everyone who's been downloading my new presets. If you'd like to get hold of those, just head over to beautyinthewild.click and you can download them. The link's below for them. There's a brand new set there for Capture One and there's Lightroom ones as well. Also, um, head over to photographymadesimple.uk if you want to really increase your photography skills. Completely free website for you. Um, just there with tutorials to make you a better photographer. Those of you who saw my photo trails a few weeks ago when I was cut off by the sea, this can happen really easily here too, because look, behind me, it's coming in, and then it's coming in there as well. So if I spend too much time here, in about five minutes, I shall be cut off. And I don't really want to have to paddle out today. I'm coming very close to being cut off again. <laughs> I think I'm just gonna make it. The tide comes right up to here, as you can see. And am I gonna make it? Uh, I think I might have missed it. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> 